Join us today for a 10k circular of Old Man Coniston, including breathtaking views, a deep glassy tarn with beautiful clear water, and a beautiful secluded waterfall. This video is going to be a combination of a step-by-step -step guide on how to get there and how to use the route that we travel, as well as just a general vlog of our journey. So if you like the looks of this place, follow the video, let us know how you got on down in the comment section, and don't forget to like and subscribe. So this is the route we took, starting off at the town, rather than parking at Wayne Scar Car Park, which can quite often be full. On this occasion, I was simply dropped off outside this pub, and I continued to walk upwards using this route here. There are a few parking spots up this road, but parking is very limited. If you don't have any luck here, you're better off trying Wayne Scar Car Park, but beware, this is also very limited. Whichever starting point you choose, my trail will intersect, so even if you start the other car park, you can still use this guide. So, following the road upwards from the pub, you just want to keep heading straight, walking past the garden house, continue to head uphill. Passing over the cattle grid, we know we're definitely on the right track. On your left, you'll pass a nice little waterfall. You may wish to stop here if you're on a shorter hike, but for us, it's a long day ahead, so we're just going to walk straight past on this occasion. Soon after the waterfall, you'll come to a gated bridge. Walk on through there and take the path to your right. This is the second gate we've come to on this trail. This one's very picturesque looking, shall we say. Keep following the trail on from here. Damn, old man of Coniston, coming from the Copper Mines driveway. Whew. Absolutely brutal in today's heat. It is so humid. Nearly as bad as Blaine Cathra. I wasn't expecting it to be this difficult. <laughs> Roll on the water. Whew. Time for a wild swim already. I've only been hiking like 15 minutes. Gate number three, again just head on straight through Thank this you. one, there's no separate paths to take, follow the trail. Gate number four, getting closer, keep heading uphill, keep following the trail. Thank you. you can see the main mines on the right there, we're going to stick to the left. Keep heading onwards and upwards through gate number five. The trail starts to get a bit steep and challenging now, and starts to get a bit rocky, so you will have to mind your step from here on out, especially when you're tired. I could just like. Have a. Have a but worry not, as the incline gets steeper and the height gets harder, the views start to open up as well. Pretty nice little viewpoint there, isn't it? This is a really good place to stop for a break if you need it. Getting a bit further up, you'll pass these um, long broken cables on the pathway. As we get higher, we'll start to come across more and more. Look. Old historic broken down buildings and office. signs of the old copper mines. Oh look Rose, check it out. Ooh. Oh Rose, you need to get here. Oh, I feel that cool air, that's lush, huh? Nope, that's not it. 
So we're just hiking up the Coniston Old Man. We're absolutely dying in this humidity. I was looking forward to getting up there time to cool down, but I just stopped to have a look at this mine shop. And oh, it is an absolute godsend. There's just cold air blasting right out of here. Absolutely beautiful. A tip for you if you're absolutely boiling and you're hiking up Coniston. You see a mine shaft, go sit in front of it. <laughs> oh, it's lovely it is. It's like having the air con on. From there we want to head back on the trail and as you can see I took a right hand turn here. You'll be faced with the left or the right. Make sure you take the right hand turn and start heading upwards towards the town. It's a really beautiful old pathway here. It really reminds us of something out of Lord of the Rings. Like a little trail through Middle Earth. Gonna be cooling down soon. Yeah. Just over here. And just when you need it, you're gonna be greeted with one of the most beautiful tarns. I've had the privilege of swimming in in the Lake District, and that's low water. We stopped off here for about an hour to cool off, to get some snacks, and mainly to really enjoy the place. So hang about and we'll get back to directions, how to get to the peak of the old man, and how to come back down through Levers Water and the old secret waterfall. In case you are wondering what lies beneath, I brought me dome lens to give you a nice clear look. Yes! Oh my god, oh my god, wait. It's, it's beautiful, man. Give your head a dunk. Ah, no, no. Mm. Oh, oh my god! In the town, there's these two awesome little rocks you can swim out to. Either side is surrounded by about three to four meters of depth. It's a perfect place to have a nice little dive in. <laughs> Just don't do what I did. <laughs> An almighty back slap. Yep, that was extremely painful. I didn't realise how tired my legs were from the hike and I got nowhere near the amount of height I needed for that. Oh, it's freezing. It is. POV, this is what it looks like from my point of view to jump in. <laughs> well, after some scran, a cool down, and some shenanigans. It's time to get back on the trail. Stick to the left hand side of the town and follow the trail up. Oh, all cooled down and refreshed. Time to set off towards the top of the old man. Feeling better, Rose? Yeah. <laughs> Much better. <sighs> Seeing that, probably five minutes later we're going to be sweating again. This is the beginning of the steepest part of the climb and it's just a matter of slogging away. 
Any twists and turns, I'll keep you right. After a while, you get to a small little plateau with a pile of rocks. Uh, stop you after a breather if you need it. We certainly did. And then you want to head back up the left hand side of the trail. It's like a Lord of the Rings stairwell. What is it? It's like the stairs into Mordor, where Gollum leads Frodo and Sam. Oh, this is awesome. Watch this step one over here. Oh wow, this does look like it's going to be an incredible view. I can't wait for this now. Still haven't reached the peak yet, I just had to stop at this little plateau to really take in this view. Look at that view across all of the lakes. Your feet, one flip here and you cut your legs. Once you get here, take a right hand turn, following the path to the right hand side. Wow, what a view. You should be able to see the top from you any second now. Not even all the way up the top yet. Yeah, Old Man Coniston. So here we are at the peak of Old Man Coniston. Anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. It's all downhill from here, it should all be pretty I'll easy, do. but we're only about halfway through the hike. There's still a long hike down, and there's still that emerald waterfall to jump in at the end as a beautiful reward for doing a hot and sweaty yeah. hike. Oh. Awful. Awful. Oh, what a view. I think this is the rock we should take home. Before we head down, don't forget to take a moment to sit there or stand there and soak it all in. This is me taking my hats off to the old man Coniston because he kicked my ass this day. <laughs> Right, time to crack on. We're going to start heading across the top, keeping the tarns to our right hand side in view at all times. But don't head down yet until I give you the cue. Just passing through, my guy. Don't worry about us. Right, you got to mind a step coming down here. Oh, look, there's Scarfel Pike. At this point, we're going to keep heading across until we come across the peak of Brim Fell and then leave us water. Hi guys, don't mind us, we're just passing through. Oh, don't mean any harm here. You guys keep on chilling. We'll keep on doing us, you oh, keep on doing you. If you look around, like in that one over there. Another peak, Concord. Let's go. The waterfall. The most beautiful waterfall in the entire lake district awaits us. 
Yes, leave us water just coming into sight down on the right there. Keep heading along and we'll find a little stone pile marking the pathway down. This is your marker here, don't miss it, follow the faded pathway down the fell towards Levers Water. Some of these rocks are loose as well, so don't put all your faith in them. Make sure you've got all your weight on your back foot as you lean on your front foot. What video? Now this is quite a steep descent down, just take your time and be mindful of your step. It took us about 20 to 25 minutes to get down it. Check this out. That looks fun to explore, but yeah, deadly. <laughs> Just passing Levers Water now. Come all the way down from up there. And that probably marks, we must be two thirds away through a hike now. I think it was uh, 10, 11 kilometers. Yeah. You'll be able to see on my Strava what it is exactly. I'll put it in the description at the end. But yeah, Levers Water is pretty nice. It's nice for review but it doesn't have that beautiful water that the old man, the town that the old man has got. That one is just, oh, gorgeous. The only place I've seen close to that is um, Scales Town. Well, I think Scales Town was probably, was it better? I don't know. Six and two threes, about the same because the one in Scales Town, the water was better, but there was no way to jump in the way there was on the old man. Yeah, that little jumping point was hella fun like. I only did it a little bit, probably because I back slapped it and my back was red raw. Probably one of the worst back slaps I've ever done. Uh, yeah, I definitely regretted that. I thought I had enough air time to rotate and I really didn't. It was only about two foot up the rock. But yeah, you win some, you lose some. You gotta take the risk to enjoy yourself. High risk, high reward. Let's get on with the rest of the hike and let's see if we can find my personal favourite and what I think is probably the most beautiful waterfall in the UK. Take the path down to the right from Levers Water and you'll see this gorgeous waterfall. Start to head down here but keep your eyes to the left because there's going to be a small path yarring off coming up soon. I want to take this little path off to the left here because that's going to lead it towards a waterfall. If you kept on the large path down to the right, that one's going to take you straight back across some copper mines. Well done. I'm alright. I was out. Look at these giant rocks, man. Okay. <laughs> Just imagine how much each one of those weigh. That's crazy. Oh, God. Almost more than that. Hey, 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 hey. So, from here, we want to take a right turn and keep following the path uh -huh. along. We'll get to an old Roman ruin. From this point, we want to follow the river down, just find the safest pathway down. You can follow the path a little bit further down, I jumped the gun a little bit here. Oh, I think that's it down there. So, come down this way. But you want to keep the river in sight and keep your eyes open for the waterfall. This is what we're looking for, it's not easily spotted from above. And now, there's no easy way down to this waterfall, which is why it's one of the most secluded ones. What I would say is take your time and just find the best way down that suits you, to your ability. Oh, 
absolutely invigorating. <laughs> the rock I normally Woo! climb to jump off is far too wet to climb today, so time to test my long jump ability. Right guys, well that's just finished now. That's our almost our total route around the old man Coniston coming down the old beautiful secret waterfall at the end. From here on we'll just be walking past the copper mines and back out towards the car park. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, follow for more content. See you around. From here on out, once we climb back up from the waterfall, you just follow this path along. And once you cross this bridge, it's a pretty straightforward path, straight all the way down back the way you came. I hope you enjoyed this video, and even better, I hope you find these places all to yourself, and you enjoy the beauty and the wonder of the Lake District as much as we do. If you want to see more location guides, hiking, whale camping, and whale swimming around the UK, and family adventures, first of all, like this video, and subscribe to this channel for more.